this house is unoccupied! I got all the gold and diamonds! Hello? There's been another robbery? It's time to call in some reinforcements. There's been a 211 calling in the absolutely irrational police force. How can we help you today? There have been three robberies in the past few hours. Hmm, so this is a suspect. We have the motive, money, money, and money. And the means of a getaway car and accomplice. Interesting. We know that the robber has stolen from these three locations in the past couple of hours. And from the last house, he stole diamonds and gold. Wait a minute, do I see a triangle there? Oh my god, you're right. If we can find the area of the triangle using these three points, we can launch the search for our thief. We have to find the area of the triangle to catch the thief once and for all. Let's go solve it. Yep. The three cops decided to use three different methods to find the area of the triangle. Area equals one half base times height. To find the base, we will do seven minus four, which equals three, so the base is three. To find the height, we will do 5 minus 2, which equals 3, so the height is 3. 3 times 3 equals 9, and 9 divided by 2 equals 4.5. So the area of the triangle is 4.5 miles squared. First, we write down the x and y coordinates in cyclic order, and write the starting vertex again at the bottom. Then we multiply right in shoelace fashion, and add 10, 20, and 14 to get 44. Then we multiply left and add 8, 35, and 10 to get 53. Then we take the absolute value of 53 minus 44 and divide by 2, and our answer will be 4.5 miles squared. This shoelace method can be used to calculate the area of any polygon. To use the Heron's Theorem, we're going to need to find all of the sides. First, we're going to draw a right triangle using the grid lines, and it's going to have legs of 2 and 3. We use the Pythagorean Theorem to find that the missing side is around 3.605. We do this on the other missing side of the large original triangle, and we have legs 3 and 5, and we use the Pythagorean Theorem again, to find that it's about 5.830 units. After doing all of this, we find that the sides are 3, 3.605, and 5.830. Next, we're going to find S to use the Heron's formula. S is the sum of all of the sides divided by 2, which comes out to be 6.22. Now we plug it in to the formula. And we can simplify it to get square root of 20.39, which is around 4.5 miles squared. The area of the triangle came out to be 4.5 miles squared, so a search was launched in that area. A master swindler had been spotted in the area, and a high-speed chase ensued. He was then successfully captured. Good job, guys! Yeah! Hello! Congratulations for solving the case! Thank you! Well, thank you very much, but it's oddly suspicious that you look very close to the Mad Mastermind. Wait! <laughs> no!